Hey guys, welcome back to Hike Oregon. We are here at the Bubs Creek Trailhead and we're about to do the Ray Lakes Loop. We're gonna be on the trail for about, well, including today, six days, five nights. So I will document this whole adventure and I'll catch you on the trail. Well, we are already exhausted. <laughs> we have gone 2.9 miles. <laughs> this is what we look like. <sighs> oh yeah, this is what I look like. <sighs> Dripping sweat. It is 90 something degrees. It was 91 when we started. Super warm. And the packs are not light, it's the heaviest we've ever carried. Um, six days of food. So that's a lot of food in a freaking bear canister. So yeah, heavy, heavy. Hate to admit this, but I think with the water, my pack is like around 40 pounds, 38, 40 pounds. Didn't weigh it with water, I weighed it without, and it was 35, 34.5 or something like that. That's the heaviest. I've ever been, aside from when I did the PCT with my family and I had like janky gear. So yeah, I also took my super warm synthetic sleeping bag because I did think it was gonna be cold. I have been cold the last couple of times backpacking at only like 6,000, 7,000, 8,000 feet. And we're gonna be at 10,000. So I just did not wanna be cold. So I'm carrying my like almost three pounds sleeping bag. Probably gonna regret it, but better to be too hot than too cold. Onward we go, we only have four miles to go. So this is our acclimation day. Plus we drove here, it was a pretty long drive. So I will catch you soon. Okay, so we set up camp here at Sphinx Creek Junction. There's tons of room, all my crap gonna take down to the bear canister that they have down there. We decided not to put our rain flies on quite yet because it is warm as heck. We're gonna spread out. We look like homeless people. <laughs> Holly is having a dilemma. She forgot her phone charger in the car. So I'll keep you updated to see what happens with that. And yeah, that's the camp area down there. That's the bear locker. Beautiful. You hear the creek. So we're about to go down there and filter some water. Day two, we just hiked 6.4 miles, almost 6.5, and we wanted to get the majority of the hike over with in the morning just because it is getting, you know, in the 90s, so. <laughs> and we're hiking uphill, like nonstop. Yeah, it was a good climb. We're here at Glen Creek. We're gonna have lunch. It's beautiful creek.
made it to camp. Day two. Hiked 9.8 miles. Now we're here by this cute little stream with a beautiful dark view. <laughs> There's a storm brewing. But yeah, it's very like open. Look at all these beautiful trees. We're gonna go rinse in the stream real quick, just wash our faces and stuff, and then we'll come back. We're just not sure when, if, if slash when there's a storm coming, so we don't wanna be in the middle of setting up a tent when there's a downpour. We're gonna wait just a little bit. Good morning guys! It's day three. Have some braids in. My hair is nasty. Finally stopped raining last night, probably 10.30. We just ended up setting up our tents in the rain and having dinner in the rain. Yeah, it was quite, quite the evening. But yeah, our tents are, you can see they're still wet, but they're drying out. We're packing up, getting ready to go. We have a long climb ahead of us. Um, only a six mile day, but we're going over Glen Pass. We're going over a pass and then back down uh, to Ray Lakes Basin. So we're super excited to get to see Ray Lakes today. Praying for no more thunderstorms slash rain. That rain lasted forever. It started raining yesterday at like four. So <laughs> it rained for a long time. Everything got very wet and not fun. So we're gonna get packed up, ready to go. So I think I have to go over somewhere over there. It's four miles to Ray Lakes. I'm trying to run from the clouds. <laughs> so scared of thunderstorms. There's already so many clouds here, but it's beautiful. I just wanna get to Ray Lakes before another thunderstorm like yesterday. It's amazing countryside out here unlike anything I've ever seen in my life. Super rugged. It um, definitely makes me think twice about really wanting to through hike because this is obviously part of the PCT and it's just, I'm just not used to this elevation. This is the highest right here is like the highest I've ever been. 10,300 feet. That's as high as I've been South Sister. So going up to almost 12, I think. So yikes.
Hello guys, we are here at Ray Lakes. We're just spending the day here today. Last night was kind of crazy. I showed you guys the rain and it ended up pooling under my tent and in between the tent and the Tyvek. So I was basically in a puddle and had to move my tent. Thank God the rain stopped. But yeah, I moved my tent. The rest of the evening was nice though. It got, it opened up again. So we're hoping for the same thing today. Like just a quick afternoon storm and then nice evening so we can eat dinner. So we're just taking the day to relax and I'm gonna film a video and I'm just gonna enjoy the, the scenery while we can, while it's sunny. Okay guys, good morning. It is day five, day five, and it is one of our last days, second to last day. Oh, so beautiful. We're headed out of Ray Lakes Basin today and going to head off the JMT back onto uh, the, just the Ray Lakes Loop, and we're gonna camp at Woods Creek Junction, I think is what it's called, or just Woods Creek. And uh, it's gonna be about a 12 and a half mile day why we're getting an early start. You can see the sun basically just came out over the peaks there, it's shining some light on the peaks. It's been a beautiful morning. Ah, just the scenery is amazing. Basically descending 4,000 feet, so that's awesome. Um, no, no uphill, <laughs> which is great. And I think we get to see a suspension bridge, which is on the JMT, which is super cool. I've seen pictures and I can't wait to see it in person. So that's where we're gonna have lunch near the suspension bridge. So, catch you on the trail. These trees are absolutely stunning. These sequoias. I mean, that one is huge. It's probably thousands of years old. As you see, the trail took a scenery turn. Mm -hmm. There are still some granite peaks up there, but we're definitely dropping. We've dropped about 2,000 feet, and we're gonna drop probably like 2,000 more, I think, after lunch. Lunch is really close. Oh, and I was wrong earlier. We are camping at Paradise Valley, not Junction Meadow or Junction whatever. I called it before. <laughs> Paradise Valley, that's where we're going. <laughs> Whoa! 
<laughs> That's so terrifying. Oh my god. Ah! Is that scary? We are like a mile and a half from our camp at Paradise Valley. I'm so done with walking. This is double what we have been walking in a day. And it's really strenuous. Even though it's downhill, it is super, super duper strenuous. My feet are so done carrying this freaking weight on my back. For some reason today, I don't know why I pack the same as I do every day, but my bear canister is just killing my lower back. It's just like digging in. <gasps> so yeah, I'm pretty done. We got caught in a storm earlier and I can barely even hold up the camera. That's how tired I am. I'm ready to be there. We walked so far 12.1. I have about a mile and a half. Hopefully that's what people are telling us. So I will update you there okay we are here at paradise valley <laughs> i always pause because we have a paradise park in oregon so i want to call it that but it is not it's beautiful those are our tents over there we don't eat by the tents obviously we are in bear country so we are over here boiling the water with our bear cans. You too can get your very own Hike Oregon sticker if you don't already have one. It's a must. Perfect size for bear cans. Anyway, there are my contents of the bear can. And tonight, so excited, I'm having Stowaway Gourmet. Seriously, this brand of hiking food, one of my favorites. Jambalaya with shrimp. Look at those shrimp. There's whole shrimp in there and they actually rehydrate really well and they're like shrimp. I mean, <laughs> they are shrimp, but like the texture is like fresh shrimp. It's absolutely stunning. <laughs> stunning. <laughs> stunning shrimp. <laughs> stunning shrimp. Anyway, we are sitting by this beautiful sequoia. I mean, just so beautiful. And then over here we have this rock. I'll come up with a name for it. Oh, I think my water is boiling. No, it's not. I will have to name this rock face before we leave. It's really beautiful and it looks just unreal to me. And that's the trail where we're headed out tomorrow. Today's our last dinner. I'm actually going to have a dessert first. I'm gonna eat half of this that I didn't eat yesterday. So yeah, this is what we're doing. It is like 6.30, we waited out a storm, and we're hoping no more storm. We're done with rain. It's our last morning, so sad. We are off to do the last 10-ish miles of the Ray Lakes Loop. It's been a wonderful time, and we are hoping crossing our fingers for maybe a bear sighting on the way out since we really haven't seen any except the two cubs we saw on night one at dinner it was very quick they disappeared really quick once we started making noise so we're hoping for some early morning bear sightings so get you on the trail
no. Yeah. Uh uh. It's like max it's three, so feet. Much than three feet. Three and a half? Oh, gross. <laughs> Okay guys, we made it back to the car, woohoo! 43 miles is what my GPS said, so. Crazy, that is not generally super long, but this was a tough one. I wanna hear down in the comments below if you've done the Ray Lakes Loop or any other cool hikes that you recommend in the Sierra for next time that I come down here to backpack. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll catch you on the next adventure.